Does a star ever die? If yes, how does it look during its final stages? And talking about death, what is the life cycle of a star? Though we don't know all the answers in detail, we are now at a point where we understand many of these processes. And one red beacon in space, aiding us in finding answers to such questions, is the fiery beetle Jews. It is a star very well known to people as the one adorning the Orion constellation's left shoulder. So what makes this star special? And why did it surprise astronomers with its behavior in 2019? Orbit Beyond the Blue Betelgeuse is mostly the tenth brightest star in the night sky. Mostly the tenth as Betelgeuse's brightness keeps increasing and decreasing according to a 400-day cycle. It is one of the largest stars ever discovered, and also one of the largest stars visible with the naked eye. How does Betelgeuse compare to our Sun? It is 7,000 to 14,000 times brighter than the Sun, and 700 times the size of the Sun, being a red supergiant. If it was placed in place of the Sun, it would encompass the asteroid belt beyond Mars. It is also 15 times more massive than the Sun. Though it is larger and brighter, it is cooler than our Sun. The Sun's surface temperature is 6,000 Kelvin, while Betelgeuse's surface temperature is 3,500 Kelvin. This is what Betelgeuse may have looked like up until about 1 million years ago, when it was a main sequence star. Currently, Betelgeuse is 10 million years old, much younger than our Sun, which is 5 billion years old. And yet, Betelgeuse will die first, since massive stars like Betelgeuse use up their fuel early and die young. Betelgeuse is, in fact, halfway through its life journey. The average age of a red supergiant is 25 million years. Betelgeuse is estimated to be somewhere between 400 and 600 light years away from us. A light year is the distance light travels in one Earth year. One light year is about 6 trillion miles. But going back to Betelgeuse, because it is so bright and close, it has been studied in detail, and hence it was known to even ancient cultures. In fact, it finds a prominent place in mythological tales of ancient cultures. Ancient Egyptians linked Betelgeuse's red color with the blood of their mother goddess. Betelgeuse's brightening for them meant the flooding of their life-giving river, the Nile, signifying a bountiful harvest and prosperity. Betelgeuse's fiery red appearance made the Babylonians think their ruler of the heavens and earth, god Enlil resided there making the star a symbol of power and authority for them. The Native Americans had an even more imaginative connection with the blazing Betelgeuse. They linked Betelgeuse's flickering to the beating heart of a great celestial bear. To the ancient Greeks, Orion was a brave and valiant hunter who boasted that he could beat any creature on Earth, and Betelgeuse was its left shoulder, much like how we see the Orion constellation today. The Earth Goddess Gaia then sent a scorpion to challenge Orion, and after a fierce battle, both adorned our night sky as two separate constellations. The name Betelgeuse is derived from the Arabic Yad al jorza translating to the hand of al jorza or Orion. Even in Arabian folklore Betelgeuse holds a coveted place, protecting the valorous warrior Orion perched on its shoulder. In ancient Hindu mythology, the blazing red beetle Jews was associated with the fire god, Agni. But as mentioned before, beetle Jews is quite an unpredictable star, and it has had its fair share of surprising astronomers with its volatile behavior. And in 2019, something strange happened. Beetle Jews dimmed. And this was not the normal dimming of beetle Jews according to its varying intensity cycle. It had dimmed much more than its normal cycle. In fact, it had dimmed by 60%. Scientists started calling it the Great Dimming. Scientists wondered if this was the calm before the storm, 
a pre-supernova dimming that would eventually lead to Betelgeuse going supernova and exploding and dying. This created waves among the community of astronomers because if Betelgeuse was really going to explode, it would be the closest supernova humans would ever see and record. By April 2020, Betelgeuse returned to normal brightness. But the mystery of why it dimmed so much in 2019 wasn't solved until 2021. Using data from the ever-so-reliable Hubble, scientists found out that Betelgeuse had ejected material from its surface, which was blocking the light coming from it, leading to the great dimming of Betelgeuse of 2019. This ejection of material from the surface is very normal for stars. In fact, our very own Sun also ejects material from its outer atmosphere or corona regularly. Such an event is called a coronal mass ejection. But Betelgeuse had ejected 400 billion times as much mass as is usually ejected during a coronal mass ejection. As a matter of fact, the mass it ejected weighed several times more than our Moon. But why Betelgeuse underwent this gigantic, never-before-seen ejection is still a mystery. Even as recently as December 12, 2023, Betelgeuse disappeared completely from some areas on Earth for around 10 to 15 seconds as a rock from the asteroid belt called Leona passed in front of it, blocking Betelgeuse completely and leading to Orion losing one of its shoulders. But one thing about Betelgeuse is certain, Betelgeuse will definitely go supernova someday. Though it is not happening before another 100,000 years, scientists surmise that when the fiery red Betelgeuse does go supernova, it will shine as bright as a half-moon in our night sky for three months. Now, that will indeed be a sight to behold. If you found this video intriguing, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to Orbit. Hit the bell icon to stay updated as we unravel many more mysteries. Beyond the Blue.